I know we have Leslie, is it Merns Myers? That is here with us tonight to share her story. Is she still with us or? Okay, there you are, honey. I'm gonna ask you to unmute. All right, are you good to unmute with us, Miss Leslie? I did. Awesome, there you are. <laughs> Welcome, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so before we get started, Captain Caveman's favorite question for everybody is what are you passionate about? I am passionate about traveling. And uh, because I've been in the travel. And um, I think right now, my two favorite things to do are riverboat cruising in Europe. And I'm Jamaica is my home away from home. So open up ER Shred in Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica's your forever home. I mean, only if I can come visit. Sure. No, I, <laughs> I, I, would, I would never move there. <laughs> so who shared the ER shed with you? Um, actually, you know, it's funny. I was, try, I was trying to think of that a couple, oh, I don't know, a week or so ago. And somehow or another, Patricia shared it with me. And I, ha I really don't know like how we connected. Like I must've seen a post or she must've seen a post, but like how, I have no idea. I, so, I just, because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't looking for that. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really mean anything to me at the time. So were so, you using our partner company's products before? I, or was, uh, used, I used them about a year ago and I wasn't, I, it, I didn't, I didn't do it well. And, um, and then I used them in 2017 and lost about 35 pounds. Okay. And, and of course, you know, put it all back on because I stopped and uh, put on a ton of weight during COVID. I think like a lot of us. And um, so uh, you know, when I heard about ER Shred, it just was like, wow, you know, it, it sounds like the, uh, cleanse is so much easier. And I hated the cleanse. I hated it. And now, like, I can't wait because I, you know, I've never cooked so much, you know, I'm, I'm single, divorced, whatever you want to call it. And I get, I get a lot of takeout and go out for dinner a lot. And so this is very, very unusual. And so I'm very, I get very excited when cleanses are coming up because then I don't have to cook. <laughs> and I haven't gone out for dinner yet, which, which is amazing, but I will. Absolutely. And shredders do because, you know, that's, yeah. that's living life, right? Oh yeah, I have to. Yeah. So yeah, definitely just yeah. so you didn't enjoy cooking. Was it cooking for one? Was it dishes afterwards? You know, the whole, the whole, the whole thing. It's the just a chore in itself. You know, been there, done that. It's like, ugh, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I didn't do it. Actually, recent, most recently I would cook and cook a lot and freeze some. So I have like my most favorite dish in the freezer and I am not getting rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So, so, so you tried, you tried isogenics in the past, you had success. And then this lovely bug came into our life and just kind of shifted everybody. Right. I, I mean, I've always been addicted to sugar, but I'm telling you like the past few months, it got really, really bad. I mean, I ate, now thank, it was one layer, it wasn't two, but I ate an entire cake in two days. That's a lot, mm. tons of sugar. Yeah. You know, um, I just, you know, I, I have a, uh, a really, really good grocery store in my development. And every time I'd win there, I'd get their uh, six pack of sticky buns. <laughs> <laughs> and put tons of butter on them, regular butter, 
and uh, pop them in the microwave and, you know, had a heyday. Yeah. And my weight had a heyday too. It happens. Oh, terrible. Well, so you saw a post from Patricia, possibly in one of our isogenics communities out there, right? Somehow you got connected to us and you came yes. to the ER shred. What yes. was your first reaction other than seeing a steak I can handle? What was, what were some of your other reactions as you started coming into the community? And seeing um, I didn't really, I wasn't, I didn't have any negativity really at all. Um, you know, I just thought I can do this. And I also thought this sounds pretty easy. And it really is there. You know, I've never cooked more bacon in my life. And uh, but I cook, I cook a package at a time and I go through it pretty quick. But um, but yeah, I mean, I I was I was willing to to give it a go because I had such success with isogenics before. Awesome. And, you know, so why not? And so I'm happy to hear what you said that you weren't scared of it. So you were not yeah. so indoctrinated with with all of this stuff that you were open to receiving it and having that open mind to try something that's not the conventional way. So I'm Absolutely. excited to hear that. So how was your first 11 days? Um, it, I mean, I, I thought it was good. Um, let me just, can I go backwards for a minute before I started? Absolutely. Um, because this is like really, really important to me. Mm -hmm. um, I have not been feeling well since March of 21. And I was actually in Jamaica and I came home early. You know, I didn't feel well when I came home early. And long story short, I um, uh, went to several doctors, had a lot of tests done. And um, I have had have uh, AFib. And so um, my cardiologist did a um, ablation on me. I felt really good for one day, one day. And um, I mean, I was so exhausted because I would get out of breath and my heart rate would go up. Well, when your heart rate goes up, you get very tired. And this happened a lot in one day. So, I mean, I couldn't go anywhere. I was pretty much apartment bound. My kids did all my errands for me. Um, it was, it was awful. And, and I lived this way probably, I mean, I was kind of off and on, but, and then in November, my daughter and I took a river cruise in Europe this past November. And I really, really got bad there. I mean, I, it was manageable, but I came home and that's the other thing about, you know, listening to and, and seeing everybody talking about having so much energy and this and that, because I didn't know what energy was for, for close to a year, if not more. And so that really, really, really got me into it. You know, hearing not just about, you know, not just about nutrition, you know, about the way you feel. And um, so I thought, I need to feel this way. I need to try this. I need to do this. And uh, so, you know, I, I, I'm not sure exactly when I really came alive. Um, today, I felt cr crappy. Yesterday, I felt like a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, I also found out, thanks to, thanks to Mimi, that um, I ate a couple of things that I probably shouldn't have. Now, I, I ate cheddar cheese, but it was grass-fed. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I'm not sure about that one. But, and I also had scallops wrapped in bacon, but they were already prepared. They weren't cooked, of course. And they were from a fabulous supermarket. So, but guaranteed it wasn't our kind of bacon. And you never and, know. Oops. Who else is on mute? I think. Um, I think something else that's happening. Oh, did I see somebody arrive? Hey, Sean. Um, I think something else to be mindful of. I know you're gonna find your food blueprint, right? Because I know cheddar cheese, grass fed or not, doesn't work for my body. Okay. But sometimes in those packaged um, foods, you never know what they put in there to have them packaged. So there may have been a seed oil with those scallops and bacon or something that could have triggered you. So I would definitely look into that. Or if the store, the grocery store yeah. that you go to prepared it, I would yeah. ask because you never know. 
I would yeah. go ahead and ask them be like, Hey, what's in your scallop, uh, your bacon wrap scallops. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, they looked totally clean, right. You know, like nothing was in them. Um, but I just, I'm just not going to have them again. I mean, I can do them just as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, so it just was like, I saw them. It was like, ah, something easy. <laughs> But um, easy doesn't always mean our body's going to agree with us. So that's, yeah, I think, the yeah. lesson you learned, right? Right, right. And that's what it's about. So, it's the lessons we're learning on on the, their way. Yeah, well, it's it's good education. Absolutely. You know, so, um, but so I don't know. You know, I, today is really the first day that I have felt pretty yucky and really, really tired. Um, so I'm hoping that I start feeling better. And, um, but I, um, I started, started the 11 day on uh, January 31st. So I'm not far into it at all. And my sister, she was in Florida um, for my, the whole time I was uh, doing the 11 days. And, you know, I would talk to her all the time and she would say, I can't, I can't believe how you sound. She said, I, you know, is this for real? You know, are you, are you faking it? I mean, she was like, every day I talked to her, she was like so shocked because she's been living with my illness, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, and then yesterday for the first time, I went back to the gym and I did two 30 minute classes and felt fabulous. Um, I have been working. I work from home. Um, last Monday, I think was my first really good day. And I've been working anywhere from, it depends, you know, I, I'm my own boss. So, um, but you know, some days are maybe five or six hours, but I had several days where I was really slammed and worked eight to 10 hours. I have not done that. For I well, COVID didn't help either because travel just you know travel went away. Yeah. But I have not done that in months and months and months and months. And I know, I know it's the OR shred. I have no doubt in my mind. And isn't that yeah. amazing? what I'm what I'm hearing is I don't think we've talked any scale victories at all. And I that's totally good with me because. What I'm hearing is your energy coming up minus the last couple of days. And that could be stress. Mm -hmm. That could be something you ate. That could be anything. Right. But you also can't fake the authenticity in your voice in your relationship with your sister. She's going to hear the truth, but right. you can't fake that. And yeah. that is just right. such a powerful non-scale victory that you're gaining life back. You're oh, able yeah. to do your work. You're able to push yeah. through it. Yeah. So it's up to you if you want to share any of the scale victories that you had, but I am so proud and excited well, about your non-scale yeah, victories. Ab absolutely. Um, uh, after the 11 days, I had lost nine pounds, um, 27 inches. And it's funny because, you know, on the paper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say 27 inches? Yes. So wait, wait, wait. We're talking almost three inches off your body a day in 11 days. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, well, here's what's funny. Um, on day five, you know, the sheet, I have the sheet of paper here. Yeah. And on, on day five, I measured and it was, um, oh shoot. I think, um, I think it was like 20 inches or 21. And I thought that can't be, that just can't be. Or maybe, I think, no, it was 23 or 24. And so on day what day 12 no day day eight I don't know I'm, I'm confused no it was day eight that that I without us like in the low 20s and then on day 12 it was 27 and I really didn't believe that the time that I that I measured and it was like 24 I didn't believe it but I, I just didn't feel like doing it all over again <laughs> So I just let it go and I was just too lazy. So, so then on day 12, when I saw, you know, when I did 27, I said, well, I guess, I guess the, you know, the last time I did it, it was right. I don't know. 
But so the last couple of days I've been gaining and, you know, not very happy about it. It could have been part of my problem today. Um, but I know, I know, I know, I know it will come off. I got to talk. I, I, I'm bursting. Oh, okay. Cause I was going to interrupt that thought too. Yeah. You go ahead. What were you going to okay. say? I was going to say you shared with us that you had two eight to 10 hour work days this week that you have not been having recently. Right. That is stress. And that snowballs onto your body. So do you stop with the scale be mindful of your days right you also just did two workouts at the gym that you hadn't done your body's in this adjustment phase okay so stay <laughs> on off the damn scale Heather, I, don't, what I, I don't even i don't even need to say anything what's up <laughs> you're amazing do we think too much electron <laughs> You're amazing. It's like her body. She's like, I haven't worked out in forever. And I worked out yesterday. And I'm like, well, that's why you don't feel as good today. But I'm going to give you a pointer. You're going to feel even worse tomorrow. But oh, don't do say work that, out. Sean. You will. You'll feel worse tomorrow. But do work out lightly. You have to. Whatever you do, work out tomorrow. Because you need to, you need to break that crap up. A lot of that's just fib fibrinogen. It's and going to be tough. I'm turning blonde tomorrow. <laughs> Heather, go ahead. You're doing a great job. <laughs> no, those were just some of the observations. And again, I think something we're not mindful of. And I had a bit of a coming to Jesus moment with Jesse earlier this week that the stress of our life is also impacting us. So we just have to give ourselves grace. Like you said, you were slammed and your workday went from a five or six hour workday to an eight to 10 hour workday. That's a sure. big difference, my friend. Yeah. That's absolutely a big difference. I know, but I, but I love it. And I'm so happy to be busy again. Exactly. So accept that as part yeah. of your journey and your yeah. body will catch up on the, on the backside. Just let it be. Look at your life, the shredder lifestyle, right? <laughs> yeah. My brother from another mother. I mean, we, we, we share a lot of thoughts. I have yeah. a feeling we talk too much that we're on the same path. Right. And so that's why he knew he could call me and be like, are you on the call tonight? Can you cover me till I get home? We got you. Don't worry. We got this. No, Sean, you're cracking me up. <laughs> well, I just, I just can't help because, you know, this is what we do to ourselves. When, when Leslie, when I reached out to Leslie, um, <laughs> Mimi, Mimi had said, I've got someone who, who really should share. And Mimi was kind of trying to give the gentle nudge to Leslie. and. Um, and Leslie was, she just kind of said, well, I really, really want to, but I don't think I should. And, and this, this is, should. you said something like that. I you said, I don't feel like I'm ready. Some, well, all I'm saying is <laughs> you was beating yourself up today and you're like, I don't know that I'm worthy, <laughs> right? <laughs> worthy to come on and share because I've gained a few pounds. How, how often do you get on that scale? You don't want to know. I do want to know, but you don't every have day. To. every day. All right. All right. All right. And so Mimi guys, told me, Mimi told me today I have to stay off the scale, but yeah. I, I, I saw something about people literally busting their scales. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I'm going to bust mine. I think, I think that's going to be like, <laughs> because you know, the inches, the inches are much better. Uh-huh. They are. They I haven't are. weighed myself in, uh, January was a year, February. Wow. So I'm 13 months. I haven't weighed myself now. And, oh my, and how Leslie, can you do that? I want to throw out one more thing for you to look for, my friend, to help your mind. Look up the words toxic scale syndrome in the group. <laughs> no, there's, there's, in, there's a lot of ideas around it because I was you. Okay. I was you. Look up toxic scale syndrome. That's what you're suffering from right now, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, what just happened to my, what, okay. Um, I think my sister's on. Oh, wow. You mentioned her. That's cool. Yeah. May I share one thing about Leslie that I think is so wonderful? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Leslie resists a lot of things on the first, when she first hears it. And then within one sentence, after that, 
She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> like this lady is so coachable and so open and ready to learn that I see nothing but fabulous for her. Um, for in all aspects, ER shred. So, um, and, you know, at first I'm like, oh my God, she's calling me again. And we've become really close friends <laughs> in a short time. Um, because we're able to just be open and honest. She's a true blue shredder, but you know, like before she got here. So she's soaking everything up. And I'm really proud of you, Leslie. You're freaking Thank amazing. You. I love you. I can't wait till you're blonde. Oh, I told you I'd screenshot you. <laughs> in your dark All right. Yeah, yeah, man. Let me go. There. Let oh, me go. Man. All right. Well, we, well, I love this. I love the, uh, I, I love the camaraderie. I, I just, I love seeing relationships like that forge. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to share, Leslie? Yes, because you weren't here in the beginning. Yeah. But I wanted to thank I you was, for asking oh, me to speak. Thank you. I was listening and in the Heather car. Thanks, for stepping in, for Sean being late. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe he's late and I'm speaking. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't. It was actually late. It was a four-hour drive that took me about four hours and ten minutes, so... It, it just uh, it didn't work out. But you know what? I just yeah. want to thank you. I want to thank you for being brave. And, you know, we treat this as a rite of passage. So people that come on here and they open up like you have, um, there's a tremendous amount of growth there. And I hope you feel safe. And I hope that you know that everybody here, like, look at all these beautiful people. Mm -hmm. Watch what I can do. I've got this cool thing. Ta-da! See, everybody clap. Everybody clap for Leslie. It's so fun. Yeah, I, I do. Love, I very love this. Very, very comfortable. Oh, I hope so. And I hope you I hope you keep showing up in the community. And oh, I will. Yeah, because you've got, uh, I think you have a lot to offer. And Thank then, you. Uh, you know, we, we can follow you as you go to Jamaica and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much, Leslie. Thanks, Sean. Thanks. Thanks, Heather. 